Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are at Gasworks Park. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough of the park and let's get into it. So this actually is a pretty unique park. So as you can see, all of this is all old gas work factory pieces that were used for coal from the early 1900s to the 50s. So they used to have a process for taking coal and turning it into a gas and using it for lights and all sorts of electricity for around Seattle. In the 50s, they stopped using it and in the 60s they switched to natural gas and once that happened this park which was at the time a industrial factory this was known as browns point which is now known as gasworks park um, was basically just not being used for anything so they got some people to develop and say hey what can we do with this let's turn it into a park and one of the head guys on saving this whole area said hey i want to save a bunch of these industrial buildings and the stuff that they use to make the gas and turn it into a park so this is the last remaining uh coal gas factory in the country maybe even the world so as you can see uh people have been doing quite a bit of graffiti on it which is unfortunate but definitely a unique thing to see they saved a lot of it um, Gasworks is really well known for fireworks show so every summer for the 4th of July they do a fireworks show right from Lake Union and it's really cool actually so people have actually taken their drones up and had their drones flying around as a uh, fireworks are going off uh, you can definitely find some cool videos of that so one of those things if your drone survives the fireworks show it'd be pretty cool but pretty much right out here on the water uh, they will put a barge out there and that barge will have all sorts of fireworks on it and light them off and away they go so one of my other videos showed some of the lake houses the houseboats so another angle of them over here so pretty popular sleepless in seattle is probably the movie that showcased that the most tom hanks was living in a boat on the water but pretty unique park Got some playgrounds for the kids. So pretty much anytime you come out here, you can see sailboating, rowing, people in boats. If you want to see more of Lake Union, I did a video of the South Lake Union area, which is kind of the new high-end tech hub area for jobs and things like that. Pretty interesting just seeing how that area has changed. It was 
very much industrial before and now it's got lots of restaurants and hip stuff to do and uh, just very very much catering to the tech industry it's all brand new buildings uh, not as much character but everything's fresh and new and very clean So we're gonna walk up over here. This is kind of a cool little viewpoint of the downtown. See the Space Needle. They just painted the Space Needle this orangish gold, and that's to represent the 60 year anniversary from the 1962 World Fair. So that was the color it was when they painted it, or when they first opened. I don't know if the GoPro will pick that up, but I threw up the drone, we'll see if you can see that on there. We will probably get back over to the Space Needle sometime soon and get a better view of that this summer. walkway down here as well. We'll go walk down there. So on the downside there's graffiti just everywhere. The mayor has talked about how they're trying to clean up the graffiti, but I mean, this is bad. Just everywhere you look. Just frustrating. Beautiful park and it's just tagged like crazy. So one of the things I did notice as well coming into the park today, uh, there is just tons and tons of homeless RVs with junk and garbage all along the way to this park. Hi, this is wow. Yeah, so Seattle again. Um, I've never seen gas works like this. This is very disappointing to see, to say the least. Just you know, unfortunately, that's what happens when you don't have enough of a police force to handle the problem. So this hill will go up to the top here uh, for 4th of July. They have like a Statue of Liberty, if I remember correctly, that they put up there, which is kind of cool. Yeah, just more graffiti over here too. Just wherever they can put graffiti, apparently they are doing. Uh, the mayor just released a statement that they're going to be focusing on cleaning up the graffiti. He was in, I think it was Little Saigon or the International District cleaning up some graffiti. And what I had heard on a advocacy page group on Facebook is within an hour or two of him being there doing this PR of cleaning up the graffiti. That same wall he painted was filled in graffiti again. So if you do come here for 4th of July, just expect lots of people everywhere. This whole thing will be packed with people with little tiny tents and everything hanging out all day. They don't let you barbecue anymore, just for safety reasons, I guess. So won't let you bring in your own personal barbecue, but pack in food, have a cooler.
So this is an active working sundial apparently. Don't know how to use a sundial, but kind of cool. The Aurora Bridge. I'll have a video up or should be up already of uh, going in from 99 to Seattle. And just kind of showing some information. It's a little bit more of a doom and gloom of history of that area that I know. We have some famous history out of that area. But that would be Gasworks Park. So I think that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep exploring. We'll see you soon.